We constitute 70% of this country and whatever constitution that is we as a country is going to embark on, we have a voice, we need to have a voice in it, we need to decide, we need to be the architecture of this constitution. The involvement of youth in violence or in criminal behavior has painted youth generally as a threat in peace building. Even in societies where the youth seek to earnestly play a role in constitution making, such as in South Sudan, they do not always have the spaces to engage, nor the means to ensure that every young person in the country, particularly at the community level, is informed. Consequently, some youth are excluded from participating in the constitution making and continue to be deprived of a new constitutional order that truly reflects their will. Youth shouldn't be considered by elders as spectators or ancillaries when making plans for this country. But we should be considered as equal partners in today's and tomorrow affairs and whose views carry the same weight as that of elders. This is because we are not only good at bottle fields, but we are also have great ideas that can shape and take this country forward.